Hi friends, welcome back for another build challenge in The Sims 4. Today we're gonna be trying a treehouse shell challenge. This is another one of those hashtag try me Sid build challenges on The Sims 4 gallery, and this one was created by Onetto. And basically it's just a cute little shell challenge like created around the shape of a tree. It's adorable. Basically this is gonna act like a regular shell challenge in the sense that I'm not allowed to delete any walls or move them from their original spot here. This one also has flooring, which is kind of fun. I'm definitely going to be working around that. And for the roofing, there's like these cute little like slots for the tree, which I don't know why I found this so adorable, but the fact that they're just like peeking on through and their little stems are just like thriving and their branches are just like, this shell made me happy. <laughs> Unlike when I normally do these shell challenges, sometimes it takes me a while to like figure out what I want to do. I think I want to do a really fancy like greenhouse. Not really those modern ones that you see nowadays. Let me show you a picture. This is the kind of style that I want to go for today. Like I hate it when I'm trying to show you guys my inspiration in a freaking like Frank's Red Hot sauce ad pops up. Like I'm trying to get in the mood. I'm trying to visualize, get vibey. Okay, you're really eliminating the vision. But anyway, this is the kind of style that I wanna do in this shell. And I think this shell is gonna be perfect for us because it's honestly not that big. So these windows that I'm currently using are from Romantic Garden and then any other open areas for now, I'm just gonna fill in with these full glass windows from Eco Lifestyle for now. But I do think what I wanna do here is kind of combine items and windows I've been seeing people do this a lot. And one thing you guys will really find that I love to do on this channel is recreate items from items that we've already got. So what I plan on doing is using different windows and also there's this item from base game. This one here, the mega wall hanging. And for the longest time, I had no idea what the heck to do with this item. I'm gonna change this watch to white and I'm just gonna size it up and play around with it, put it on top of my windows, on my build and really see what shapes I can make. If you're like me and you build a lot in The Sims 4 or even if you're just sick of the items that we do have in The Sims 4. I mean, it's understandable. That's why custom content is so addicting. <laughs> but if you can't download custom content or you don't like to, making your own objects is really, really fun. A little time consuming, yes, but if you really enjoy building and like the process like me, I don't know, it's just a really different and fun way to build. And then especially if you start getting really good at it, like there are a lot of ways that you can make your own custom items in the game. I think today is definitely going to be one of those trust the process builds because I'm going to be trying out a lot of things here. And if they don't work, I'm basically just trying to see like what looks good. This style is definitely out of my comfort zone. I think it would be really cool if I did an upper flooring part as well. And we could turn those into like bridges. Wait a minute. Wait. What if I like made my own bridge here? Why do I feel like this could work some way? I just don't know which way it is and how I would pull it off. Undo. <laughs> Roofing the Sims 4 is hard enough and it makes it even harder and more annoying when there's a big tree stuck right in the middle of it. So what I'm kind of doing is going around with these roof pieces. They're really basic. All I've done is just make like a dome shape. This is a base game paint that I'm using. Since the tree is so prevalent up there, I kind of feel like that is okay to leave it like that. And then I'm also going around just to add a little extra detail with this Strangerville fence. I've also been playing this one. This is also from Strangerville. Strangerville has like weird good details like that. Like they have very Victorian kind of styles. Like I was debating on using this thing here, which is kind of like a little custom fence piece. I thought that would look really nice along the side. Ooh, there's also these that we could put on here and make it real fancy? Maybe just on the corners and maybe a little smaller than that, right? It's giving like royal gardener vibes. <laughs> what? Royal gardener <laughs> vibes. Okay, so normally editing Sid is a little bit <laughs> judgy, but last night I listened to Harry Styles for the first time in my entire life. I know, I don't know how I have lived this long without listening to this man, but this is my reaction that you're seeing. <laughs> This was me reacting to his album for the first time last night. I am so happy. Oh my God, I can't even describe how, why, well, I have a lot of questions. I had to share. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Nobody, Nobody asked. asked. Okay, these windows that like jut out are so pretty to me. They have so much detail on them. Look at that. This is just a window piece from Get Together. I definitely want a really thick trim. Oh, some of these are so extra. That is so thick. I think I just want like this one. Base game is good enough. I can't believe how like that takes up the whole thing. This is the tallest wall height. Ooh, wait, and if they do end up going along the flooring on the top, 
that's gonna be such a vibe. I think these bridges are gonna give it more of that magical feeling too, like almost like a fantasy aesthetic. I kind of just picture like a big canyon, you know? And this thing is just like floating up there and all the plants are just so like thriving and lush. We're definitely gonna have to do some sort of like connecting way so that you can go up there and like travel on these bridges. Wait, this door is kind of cute for this. Like this little cottage core one from Cottage Living. That's gonna work. I was gonna use the other get together stained glass ones. I don't know which I prefer. I do really like that touch of purple that they're adding because other than that purpley color coming from that, I don't really think I plan to add more color than that. There's gonna be a lot of greenery already. So I think adding just the little touch of purple with those stained glass windows is gonna be enough. And then we can bring in like purple plants and all of our plants can have a pop of purple. And I'm just realizing that this thing is kind of just held up by nothing. So I think we need some columns. Like I'm assuming that some of it would be supported by the trees, right? But this is gonna maybe give it the illusion that this is up on stilts. So I'm gonna use these from Get Together. There's a lot of Get Together in this build. Then I was kind of thinking that underneath we could do a pond, but I'm hoping that that doesn't mess with my trees or anything. Like I don't want them to look like they're floating. So I'm just gonna have to be careful, but it is good because I was not really sure how these columns would react here, but they just sink into the platform. That's nice. I thought they would just like stop for some reason. I don't really want this pond to look clean per se, but I'm not really going for dirty either, you know? So I think I'm gonna use this like leafy water. I think we're gonna pull it all the way back here too, like all the way. <gasps> that tree went in the water. Wait a minute. Whoa, that kind of blew my mind. Wait, watch. Wow. Did you guys tell me? You did not know this, did you? Did you know this? I did not know that if you put a pond under a tree, the tree just adapts. Or does it? This is kind of blowing my mind right now. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was like extending the tree trunk and my tree was just like growing into the water, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it just like shrunk the tree. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair. I just opened up Debug because I want to add some of the cool features in here. Like I know there's plants like these, which I don't know where I would put this, but maybe over to that side. And then there's also these trees. I don't want to block that lighting though. I like the look of the stilts, but I do also like the heavy rock structure on this side to look like it's sort of built on top of like a rock or a mountain or a cliff edge or something. And then it's also being supported by the trees. I want like fancy outdoor lighting. I'm gonna put a chandelier from vampires up, maybe only on like these two bridges. So you can see those really, really fancy chandeliers. And then I'm also picturing get together has this object, which is one of my favorite like underrated, weirdly located objects in The Sims 4. I like to put mine above doors ways, but I've also used this over like islands in the kitchen or like couches or outdoor seating. It can really look good under. So I, I think that's a really cool, like underrated hidden item in there. Oh, these are just so pretty too. And especially in the all white. Okay. Hi, sorry. I just had to stop this video while editing and point out that my camera and my background match the color scheme of this build. And it all looks so cohesive. I just had to point that out because the whole color scheme of this video is kind of blowing my mind right now. Now. Anyway, I think I just had that build click moment. You know when you're building and all of a sudden it clicks and you like it all of a sudden? I think that just happened to me. I added all of these vines and I feel like it kind of filled in the gaps that I was worried about. Like over here, I had this weird looking window. Like the glass windows from Eco Lifestyle weren't really doing it for me. But if I added those on top, now it's a whole different window and a whole different vibe. And then in the back here, I added some ladders because I do want to be able to go up there. Actually, the back of this looks good too. Look at that lighting. It's just like peeking through the trees. If I get my camera right there, it's like framing it. That's so pretty. Actually, wait, I want to do rooftop stuff. I think I'm just going to do cute seating areas and maybe like a meditation area or something like nothing too crazy. I was going to put painting stuff out here. I might even just do a seating area, honestly, but the spa day thing would be cute because then you could actually see your Sims meditating. Like in my head, it was like, you can just come up here and meditate. But then I remembered your Sims can't do that. We'll just help you out with a few pillows up here. I feel like you could get really into this gameplay too. You could get like a sim and make them like really rich and then luxurious. You could make your sim like come up here and meditate like every day, but like they're strict about it. They can't miss it. And we'll even put some fancy lanterns up here with this detail on it. I've spent a solid 20 minutes trying to take a picture of this thumbnail now. It's very frustrating. So if you guys see this video and it has a good thumbnail with a good picture of this thing, then good job, pass it. Good job. You did it. Cool. I think we're ready to go inside. I love how these two cars are just like here. Let's figure out what the heck we're going to do in here. 
here. There's first of all, a big hole in the ground, which I feel like I should just make a wall around it first, <laughs> first and foremost. I kind of just want it to be small and simple. Like just like something like that. That's the base game one, just going around the tree for flooring. What about that one from Cottage Living? Or honestly, I think the plain one. I was using Journey to Batu. The Sims has this issue with diagonal walls that like when you have your trim on there, no matter what you do, I will have that point coming into the inside of my build. I'm pretty sure, unless that anyone has a way to solve that. So what I'm gonna do, and I don't really like the way that the windows look on the inside anyway. I think they definitely look a lot better on the outside. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe find some sort of fancy curtain. Like literally just any way to avoid this from happening. I guess this could actually be like our living room in a way. Like I'm gonna be doing my seating area. We could do some skill items in here, like bookshelves. Maybe we just do an entire plant wall over here. Actually, that's perfect. They cover up those weird points and we don't have to change anything about the general aesthetic. I don't have to go in and put curtains because I feel like that would just look weird here. I have a big open wall space right here. So I want to get one of the biggest bookshelves that I can get all the way up to the top. We're going to put a chandelier in the room where you walk in. Actually, I think I'm going to put them in here too. It's not often that I get to use these because these are for the tallest wall height. So to me, this is very exciting. I'm going to use them in both rooms. Screw it. All right. So this is looking pretty cool. It's kind of coming along the way that I want it to. I want to go upstairs first before we go and branch out to the other places because upstairs, I'm going to be doing a bedroom. This is the only second floor spot in this entire build. There's like the roofs and the bridges, but in terms of indoors, this is the only really area. So I think this would be the coolest place for the bedroom. We can make it a little bit comfier. Like I'll get some actual tile from Jungle Adventure. Like that works, I guess. And the fact that my plants are coming through here, I think I'm just going to cover them all up. I don't want to get rid of them. I like how they look downstairs. So let's just grab a bed and hope that it covers the entire thing. Dang it. Actually, that's probably functional. If, if your Sims can get in this way, they're going to be fine. Wait, this also fits there. Okay, so bed is going to go over here. We can cover that one up with an end table. These trees are super funky and I like how they look. So I'm wondering if I could do my dresser here. We'll put like a mirror hanging on this wall. And then what if we just accepted this as like decor? Like for this particular build, I feel like it wouldn't be that weird to have literal plants inside it. Like I actually think you would not really have an easy time avoiding it. And I know every time I make a planty build, there's always one comment that's like, the bugs on this place. And I get it. I know. But luckily, the best thing about the sims is we bug fr <laughs> well mm, no we can die of bugs can't we well good luck <laughs> All right, this is all I'm gonna do for this area. I think that looks really pretty with the dresser and the mirror. And then any empty space that I have for like decor, I'm just gonna be using regular plants. Okay, I think we can go and do the bathroom. So our bathroom's gonna be over here. We're gonna get the same kind of fancy decor going in the bathroom. I've tried to get this sink that is off the ground so that I can put potted plants underneath to hide that weird like hanging plant that we have downstairs. I feel like I'm running out of the style of plant that I wanna use though. I mean, that works, I guess. I just shrunk some down, I've got a bathtub over here. Actually, these hanging in the window could be quite nice and act as curtains, I guess, because I don't really plan on putting any over there. And then we'll do one more nifty knitting rug. This is cute. This build is really pretty. So I think for our main building, I'm going to leave it there and then we're going to go to the other ones and I still need a kitchen. I need a dining area and maybe another like meditation room. So other than the main building, the next biggest one we have, I believe is in the back. Yeah, I think it's this room. So let's go ahead and add our fridge. I want to use the older ones from base game with like the wood oven. We'll do our fridge here. It's hard to work around the windows on this build, I will say. There's a lot of them. Actually, yeah, those are cute. Realm of Magic could thrive here, actually. I might do the green one from Luxury Party stuff. I know it's random, but it kind of matches my fridge. We can get a jungle adventure table in here, and then all I'm gonna do is add some kind of clutter right there. There we go. It's a little small. The lighting in here is a little weird too, but keep in mind there's a freaking tree coming through the room too. I could realistically do another bedroom if I wanted to. And that would mean our final room to the left would have to be a bathroom. I mean, I guess depending on how you wanted to play, you could do something else, but I think I'm gonna do another bedroom. Just a small one, maybe just a single bed. Like that one's quite nice. Ooh, okay, I'm getting this vanity here. I'm gonna push it all the way against the wall and then line up these new plants from the Blooming Rooms kit. I keep calling them new, but I feel like that kit came out like quite a while ago now. 
But anyway, and then look at that. That's so cute. And it matches. There's pink. This is not a pink build, but the pink, the pink in me definitely wants to, to make this pink. But that'll work with some like candles. We can do a standing mirror. And I think I'm going to add some more rugs in here. That's going to be our bedroom. It's very bright in there. I feel like it's because of the time of day that I'm building in. And the holes in the roof definitely don't help. But for the final room, I'm going to do a bathroom. I'm going to make sure everything is covered up so that it's not 100% see-through in here. But there's actually a lot of space. This is gonna be gorgeous. We can do realm of magic toilet for my bathtub. I guess we could do like the swan one or something or even the big one. That one works from get famous. And there is our bathroom room the final bathroom in the house and the final part of this shell. And this is how this build turned out. It's so pretty. This is it with the lighting that I really liked that we were building with before. I don't know. I'm super happy with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I will put it on the gallery under city macarena if you do want to download it. Thank you again to Onetto for submitting this shell challenge for me to do. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.